Hey reader friends, today I have a fun book for you and it is The Epic Adventures of Huggy, who is this little rabbit guy here, and Stick, who needs no more description. The author of this book is Drew DeWalt, who is the author of The Day the Crayons Quit, so you know it's going to be funny. The illustrator is David Spencer, and I hope that you're like me. I enjoyed this book just for looking at the pictures, but the story, pretty cool, and written by these two guys. Huggy and Stick belonged to a little boy named Reese, and like many things that belong to little boys, they spent a good part of their time being lugged around in a backpack. That is, until the day an open zipper, a large bump on the sidewalk, and Reese's bicycle combined to create an accident. Well, this is their story. It isn't pretty. Whoa! Splash! There goes Reese. Sunday. Lost. These two guys have different perspectives on what's happening. Dear Diary, I love Huggy. He is so cool. Today, I fell out of Reese's backpack and Huggy tried to save me, but we both fell out and then the rain washed us out to sea and now we're in this circle-shaped, super bouncy boat. I, I drew a picture of it. Dear Diary, I hate stick. I really do. I tried to push him out of the backpack today, but his pointy head snagged a loose thread on my paw and, well, we both fell out. Now I'm riding this from a dirty tire floating in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Ugh. Sunday, Pacific Ocean. Dear Diary, Best trip ever! Today we were rescued by these nice guys in super awesome hats. I told Huggy they must be some kind of uh, super awesome hat club. They showed us their cool swords and Huggy gave them his button. Aww. Then Huggy kind of barfed on the one with the biggest hat and they had us try out their diving board. Strange though, they sailed away after we dove into the ocean. Oh, well, so much fun. Dear Diary, worst trip ever. Today we were captured by pirates and I was robbed of my lucky gold button. I got seasick on their captain. Then they made us walk the plank. Now stuffing's coming out of my, oh, well, you know where. Wonderful. Monday, Australia. Hmm. Dear Diary, today we swam ashore and met a giant mouse with a pocket on her tummy. She gave us a ride, but it was so bumpy that Huggy fell out. Well, I didn't want him to get injured, so I broke his fall. Thank goodness I was there, or he could have been hurt. Ah! Dear Diary, there's a stick up my, well... You know, I hate my life. Tuesday, Asia. Dear Diary, today we rode on a plane. Instead of going home, though, we ended up in this magical forest where a giant teddy bear tried to kiss me. I think Huggy likes me more than he admits because he got jealous and he pulled me away before the teddy bear could kiss me. So nice. Dear Diary, today a giant panda tried to eat stick. That's what pandas eat, sticks. Somehow, Mr. Wood for Brains thought he was going to get a kiss. I'm not sure why I even saved him, but I did. Unfortunately, the bear didn't appreciate me taking away his lunch. Dear Diary, another great day. 
This morning, we hopped a train and I made Huggy a new arm. It's even better than his old one, if you ask me. When we got off the train, Huggy said he wanted to find his own way home, but he tripped on the train tracks and I grabbed him and saved his life. There was a TV reporter there, and now everyone's calling me a hero. Because we are now <clears throat> famous, we got to meet the queen. Did you know she has a sword, too? I definitely need to get a sword. Look, spork arm. So cool. <coughs> Dear diary, I don't believe this. I almost get run over by a train, and Stick gets knighted by the Queen of England? In what universe is that fair? <coughs> I'd chop him into little pieces with my new arm, but it only seems good for eating hearty soups. Great. Dear Diary, after a boat ride, then a trip across the desert on a camel, we ended up in a jungle. How cool is that? After running a fun race, we found a giant lake and jumped. Turned out we didn't have to swim because the huge fish offered us a free ride in his mouth. I love today. Hmm. This is Thursday in Africa. Well, there they are on the camel. Oh, start of rhino rage. Oh tree tunnel full of loud rope rhino's still coming adoring fans hmm. rhino still after him super winning fancy horse very tall dog cats with great hair helpful fish uh oh let's see how this turns out Dear Diary, we're in the Atlantic Ocean here. This is getting crazy. Today we ended up in a jungle where a furious charging rhinoceros would have destroyed us both had I not grabbed stick and jumped into the ocean to get away. The rhino shouldn't feel too badly that we escaped, though, because after jumping into the water, we were promptly swallowed. Eaten up, yeah, by a shark. My only hope is that sharks are allergic to stuffed animals. <coughs> Dear Diary, holy moly, did you know sharks are allergic to stuffed animals? And he spit us up. So cool. Still enjoying our trip around the world, we swam to an iceberg. There were little elves in tuxedos living there. So cute! I wanted to eat them up. Unfortunately, they wanted to eat us too. <coughs> Friday in Antarctica. Dear Diary, where do I start? The barfing shark? The vicious stuffed animal eating penguins? I taste like socks. How could they not know that? Or, or, the long swim to South America from the freezing Antarctic. Ugh, I need a nap. Look at the penguins. Nom, 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 nom. Saturday in South America. Ooh, new life goals. Hmm. Dear Diary, can you say amazing? Because that's what the rainforest is. All those cool animals and those nice people who turned me into a sippy straw. I even saved Huggy from those mean fish that tried to eat him. Golly, gumdrops, Huggy and I make a great team. <coughs> Dear Diary, can you say horrible? Because that's what the rainforest is. Poisonous frogs, bugs as big as my head, and fish that eat anything, including stuffed bunny legs. Oh yeah, stop trying to eat me, world. Not only that, I had to save Stick from some people who hollowed him out and used him as a blowgun to shoot at monkeys and sloths all morning. Weirdest trip ever. Sunday, 
North America. They're really getting around, aren't they? Dear Diary, we landed back home today. Ah, this has been the best trip ever, and I never would have made it if it weren't for Huggy, my best friend. Dear Diary, Stick slept through the llama ride, the train ride, two bus rides, the small plane trip, then 200 miles on the back of a very determined chihuahua. If I never go anywhere with that smiling piece of wood again, ugh, it will be too soon. The next day. Uh-oh. I think they're back in the backpack. Stick! No! No! Don't pull that thread! Relax! It's just a loose string. Uh-oh. Cool! You have got to be kidding me. Glug, 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 glug. Uh-oh. Here we go again. I hope you enjoyed their epic adventure. Uh-oh. Best friends. Mm, maybe not. See you soon.